What's up, guys? Welcome back. We're getting back to our streaker jeep today. Uh, we're getting close. Whoa, 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 whoa. Restart. <laughs> Took a little break from the streaker jeep for a couple videos, and we're getting back to it now. We're on the downhill climb of the project, so when we first got it, it didn't run at all. We got that fixed, it runs now, we got a new torque converter on it. So we're putting everything back together, so what, what's all involved in that? So today what we're gonna be doing is buttoning up all the wiring for the headlights and taillights on it. There was nothing really wrong with the wiring before. I never tested it, so I don't think there was. So we're just gonna reconnect the, the wires that we took loose whenever we pulled the body off. And I'm gonna go through and tighten up the brakes a little bit. They're still not they don't stop as quick as I'd like for them to. Um, I don't even know if we'll throw that in the video. It might just be tightening some nuts and bolts. So we'll just kind of see once we get dove into it. But uh, yeah, to jump in today, we're just going to be um, buttoning up some wiring connections and, and that sort of thing. So we'll show you a quick list of the tools we're going to be using and the supplies you're going to need, and then we'll get right into it. So the supplies that we're using in today's video is heat shrink solder seal wire connectors, a heat gun, propane torch, wire strippers, wire cutters, and pliers. All right, so this wire right here runs up to the front headlights on the, the body. They are still fastened into the body, so that will not be fastened back until the body is sitting back on it. But we went in and cut this wire that ran to the back for the tail lights just so that it wasn't dragging around dragging the ground or getting caught up in the axle or anything like that we we're literally just going to reconnect it to this wiring harness which in turn goes back to the tail lights these are the plugs for the tail lights and then right here you've got the on off switch for the headlights tail lights pretty simple they run here down here to the switch so they don't get power until the switch is on i believe so with that being said, let's jump right in. So if you're working on a project that had wiring done to it previously, one thing that you'll want to do is go through and double check all the wires that are on the cart and make sure there's no like breaks or tears in the insulation or anything. Cause you don't want it, these things have a metal frame. So you don't want the power going through the wire to arc off of that metal frame, causing a short, causing a fire, worst case scenario. Um, so like I say, just kind of skim over everything, make sure all your wires are in pretty good shape. This connector right here, it holds really well. So we're not gonna change it or anything. All the, the ground terminals are good there and there's no breaks or cuts in this wire. So we'll pull the one out from under the seat, double check it. But from what I can tell, it looks like all of them are good on this cart, but just a pro tip for in the future, if you're working on one that had wiring done on it previously and you're not redoing all of it completely and you're just buttoning stuff back up, double check it, make sure it's that little bit of insurance can save in the long run. All right, so what we're gonna be doing here is just stripping this wire back. Um, we'll be splicing this back into this one down here to get the power back there towards the back. These are automatic wire strippers. They're great, I love them. Um, I don't even remember where I got these things. Walmart, one of the local auto parts stores or something, but they just, you put it in there and it kind of sizes the wire up for you. And so, same thing on this one. We'll just kind of stick it in there strip that wire back a little bit and that is ready to be connected today we're going to be using a little bit different connector i ordered these things on amazon a while back um i don't remember how much this little box was but they're they look like they're going to be pretty handy they've got solder built into them and heat shrink so literally just slide it over the wire you twist the wire together slide it over it and heat the thing up and it's supposedly the best connection you can get so We'll give those a try, see how we like them. If not, I do have some regular ones, just like the one that's already on it. So we'll jump right into that. What I'm doing here is just twisting the the stranded copper wire together to tighten it all up. Then I'm gonna take my connector, I'm gonna slide it over the one wire and slide it down past where the connection is gonna be. I'm gonna take and line the insulation up and then just twist these guys together about three or four times to make a good connection there. And then I'm just gonna lay the copper back over the insulation and then slide my connector right over top of it. So then all we did was line up the solder line 
up with the copper on the inside of the, the insulation. I don't know if you can focus in on that and see that, George. So now that we've got that together, we're gonna grab our heat gun. So to adjust these mechanical brakes, there's a jam nut that I'm touching right here. I don't know if you can see that in the shot. That I just broke loose. And then to make the brake tighter, you turn the smaller nut in, the longer bolt, turn it in to make it to where it grabs a little bit better. brake adjustment on it this thing's got mechanical dual disc brakes on the rear um, there's no front brakes on it at all and they just they would slow you down a little bit but they just did not stop it very well so George if you'll zoom in there I'm gonna push on the brake pedal and you'll just see the calipers just kind of move in and out you can spin it if you'd like but just to kind of give you an idea well, barely moves there and it's free to the other side just see that they're both even so we got all the brakes done now we're going to slap the body back on we got to put the battery back in first slap the body back on and finish hooking up all of our lights because our headlights and tail lights are still attached to the body so we did go ahead and clean up all our wiring everything zip tied in there and kind of neat now somewhat We're actually finishing up our streaker jeep series so what we got done in today's video was we got our body put back on we got our headlights and tail lights working again um, we got our brakes adjusted and I believe that was about it wasn't it yeah, had a couple things buttoned up. We got this bar put back on, got the rear bar put back on, got the head, the windshield put back on. It doesn't really do any good for us, but the kids that are riding it, it's uh, definitely there for a reason. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the little bell for notifications on the next video. We'll catch you next time. Later.